huge, huge day, a historic day. Chris Logston with Coalition for a Just and Equitable California says it's a big moment in a long fight. After two years of intense discussion and research, the California Reparations Task Force approved its recommendations. To recommend that the state pay lineage-based reparations in the form of direct compensation and payments to descendants of persons who were free or enslaved and living in the United States before the year 1900. African Americans living in California with ancestors tied to slavery could receive cash payments and other reforms. For years, the task force has been studying the harms of slavery, discrimination, and injustice. The task force, with the help of economists, looked at how much compensation is due and who would be eligible to get it. According to the report, estimated reparations could total up to more than a million dollars, depending on the person's age and how long they lived in California. The final report will contain 95 recommendations for determining what reparations will look like in the future. Ali Whitehurst is with NAACP Oakland. Here we really need some systemic changes that will impact in a positive way the lives of the descendants of African enslaved people in America. The final report is due to state lawmakers at the end of June. What's next? Next, we take this to the state legislature. Next, we take this to the state senate, to the state assembly, and to the governor. Congresswoman Barbara Lee is co-sponsoring a bill in Congress to study restitution proposals for African Americans. She released this statement today, quote, it is critical that the promise made to our ancestors many years ago is kept and the process of truth-telling and racial healing is carried out. I'm encouraged by this next step from the Reparations Task Force and hopeful for the future of this movement. Supporters say there's still a long way to go. We won this battle. We have another battle coming.